Okay, welcome back. So the graphs that I was just talking about with the square residuals, the sum of squares, was created in StatCrunch. And the way that we create that is we have to enter our data points. So we have our X points and our Y points, explanatory and response. And then we go to Stat, and we want to calculate a regression, and we want simple linear. And then for our X variable, you would enter your explanatory, and your Y variable would be your response variable. There's a couple of options, whether you want to run hypothesis tests or confidence intervals. If you want to make predictions, you can do that in the middle of the screen. Different properties, whether we want um, different types of graphs. I'm going to go ahead and click Compute. And I'm given this table of data, which is on your mod guide. And I'm also given this graph, which is the graph that we looked at on the previous page. Um, but notice that the line looks a little bit different than we had before. I'm gonna go back to our notes now and we're gonna talk about this. We're given a lot of information in this output that comes from StatCrunch, a lot that we really don't know about right now. We do know this R value, that is our correlation coefficient. We also have an equation for the line of best fit. We are given what our intercept is, what our slope should be, um, and then our t-value and p-value, that's going to come into play when we do hypothesis testing. And we have standard error. Now, the regression equation is given with the values rounded to four decimal places. And that comes from right here. We have 6.7243 plus 0.2642x. And actually, this is a regression equation. We should have a hat on that. Y hat. The sum of squares of the residuals for this line is 41.77. And that can be found in your chart where we're talking about the error, which is our residuals. And SS stands for sum of squares. What do we know about the SSE for the two lines given on the last page? Y equals 4.36 um, plus 0.3x and Y equals 5.47 plus 0.35x. What we know is that their sum of squares, because this is the line of best fit, they're going to be greater. Okay, so those values are greater. This line that the computer has calculated is the line of best fit. It is the one that we want to use. So any other line is going to have a greater SSE. It's a greater sum of squares. Now we're going to go back to StatCrunch and talk about the roller coaster data. Okay, we're going to load the data set. We go to Data, Load, Shared Data Sets, and that is the roller coaster drops. We go ahead and type in roller coaster. And we want the one that is by A. O'Neill, not by StatCrunch. Roller coaster drops and durations. If I had typed in the whole name, it probably would have been better. Perform an analysis to explore the relationship between the initial drop and the duration, meaning initial drop is our explanatory and duration is our response. We're going to go to calculate again. So stat, regression, simple linear, where x is our the um, initial drop and duration is our response, and we compute. I'm going to take this data set, and I'm going to bring it back into our notes.